I've been working on several projects this weekend, nothing complete, but a few things just kind of in the works. I've been trying to do a branding iron and cutting aluminum on the CNC was, was not working out too well. The CNC came with a very small spindle. This is a 200 watt unit and for cutting pine, for cutting thin stuff, it's been fantastic. I've done a lot of really cool projects with it. But when I wanted to cut aluminum or things that were thicker, hardwoods, um, and various other materials, it was it was problematic. It wasn't working real well. It would bog down or stop, and I think the maximum speed on this was about 8,000 revolutions per minute, which was very small. So I spent a lot of time thinking about switching this over to a different spindle, and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on this. So I was surprised. I picked up a Dremel 4000 and was really amazed. It drops right in here. If you undo these two screws, take out the original spindle, this just drops in. There's no fine tuning, there, there's no bracket that has to be made, nothing has to be done. Tighten these up and you're good to go. And this will cut aluminum for this branding iron and it's got a lot of torque to it. So I've been impressed. So hopefully we can do some more projects with that. For the branding iron, I'm just using aluminum flat stock. This is still pretty hot. And playing around with this. This is just a work in progress. Something kind of fun to play with. This shows the design in Inkscape. Nothing complicated there at all. <clears throat> we flipped our text. Did a difference operation so that it took it out. And then got some extra lines. These are our tabs to keep it held down. And then this is what it looks like in JS Cut. Look around the back and see what we got. After this it was saved as the toolpaths were saved and we opened it up in mock. The branding iron was drawn up in Inkscape. I use that for all of my CNC designs. Really great, really good free program. Then once the design was made up, we saved it as an SVG, opened it up in JS Cut for the toolpaths. The feed rate was at 15. The end mill is 0 0.0625, it's a little teeny guy. And this is just thin aluminum stock picked up at the local hardware store. And then LZWX, uh, informal name for my projects is Laserworks, so just LZWX is kind of short for that. This is just bolted together. We'll tap through there and the threads through and came out kind of cool. So we've got some more testing to do there and it seems to heat up well for about a minute and a half to two minutes with a propane torch and then we can make the branding. Before switching over to the Dremel for this aluminum, these were the failures I kept having with the original spindle. And it would start to cut and then it would bog down and usually would stop and create all kinds of problems. And then once the spindle stopped and the CNC, which was very strong with those NEMA 17s, would keep pushing the stopped router bit around and it would just snap off. So. Sometimes we had a little bit more luck, like it was starting to, to work, and then it would just just come to a stop and, uh, and not work. So that's why we had to switch to the other design. For the operation of that Dremel for the spindle, couldn't be any simpler. Just comes out of the CNC enclosure. The wire just goes right through the hole. We've got it on and on and off power strip, so we can fire it up. And when it's inside the enclosure here, it's really not any louder than the actual spindle was. If you don't have an enclosure around it, this will be louder than a spindle. But for what I'm working on, it seems to be working really well. Fun stuff. Thanks very much for taking a look.